Hey guys, it's Jessica from Crafted and Stampin' at Blogspot.com. And today, I wanted to make a quick card um, using my, uh, a quick Valentine's Day card using my art booking cartridge. And I'm going to be using um, different cuts that can be found on page 48 and 49. They're from the Love Mini album, but I'm going to use them as a love card instead. Um, so let me tell you what I cut first um, before I go laying it all down. I only glued on a few things just because for time's sake for, you know, the camera. Um, this I cut and it was just the pink piece. I cut this right here at six inches and it does not if you know anything about the art booking cartridge you do not need to touch anything it's already set according uh, it's like already set for the right size okay so I cut this at six, six inches and then I put real dial size on which was kind of silly because this for some reason I think real dial size and real di dial size off like on and off I think it would have cut the same anyway but I cut this with real dial size on at six and a half inches and that is this cut right here okay then I cut this also at real dial size the red piece at real dial size at three inches and the XOXO was cut without the real dial size on at six inches um, so that way it worked well with everything else that I print um, what else did I do here? Oh, okay. And then I took the real dial size, or I cut real dial size, real dial size off, and I cut out this little speech bubble at three inches. Oh, I almost said six inches. Hold on. Nope, six inches, the border. Um, because I wanted the negative space to use for in here. Um, I just thought that would look cute, plus I kind of messed up underneath it because I was trying to sponge in a heart and that just didn't work. Um, and then just this white piece, I just kind of took a piece of scrap, um, white daisy, and just put it along the back so that way you could see what I was actually cutting here. So it says love, hugs, or love, hug, kiss. Um, see how it's the negative here? the S. Um, be mine, XO, XO, love you. So um, that's all ready to go. This is all ready to go. Now what I did here, I did this before the camera was on, or uh, while well, the camera was on, but it was recording something that wound up looking horrible, so I stopped. Um, this is a five by seven card base, okay? I cut this matte layer at four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then I took a piece of seam binding ribbon and um, I took my gypsy ink and a sponge dauber and went all over this with the sponge dauber in just a circular motion to try and get the same color ink in on the seam binding ribbon as what I used to distress my edges because this paper is actually older close to my heart it's called amethyst it's just I'm trying to get rid of some of my old scraps because I'm trying to make room for the new stuff that's going to be coming in um, so we've got that um, this is already done like I said so I'm going to go ahead this is um, from the Laughing Lola collection just so you know um, this I'm going to actually put down straight and then I'm going to kind of angle this guy right here and the way I figured out to do this was I kind of threw the pieces down and I just love the way they wound up landing um, I was really excited about that and I'm just gonna kind of layer this all on just like so um, so that's the way we're gonna wind up layering it so let me show you let me get my ATG um, oh and then this uh, oh gosh stop stop don't lose the focus. Here we go. The XOXO. I can't remember if I had said this, but this was cut out um, at six inches without the real dial size one. And then this Love You stamp is actually from our Cloud9 um, National Paper Crafting Month kit. So here's see how that's got Love You there? Well, I just stamped the, the Love You onto this. Now it was a little bit, this was a little bit smaller than the stamp, but it still looks awesome and I like it still. I think it's perfect for this card. So this Cloud9 card making kit, you don't have to use just for um, creating what was in the kit. You can use it all on your own too. So let's go ahead and get this stuff adhered. And then on top of the red bub the red hearts that I cut out that I'm, you know, like I said, I was using the negative on them, I'm actually going to go ahead and adhere or um, apply some liquid glass to it just because I want to make it shinier and more like eye-catching like an embellishment. Um, 
because using that liquid glass you can make your own embellishments which I love so we got that done let's get this done while we're at it messages are going off okay sorry this ATG was a little bit fatter and made a bit of a mess oh gosh going totally out of focus here there we go okay so we have that now I did cut out a rose I don't really know how I feel about that I think it's too much red. <gasps> no, that'll make it too big. I think I actually might like, like, ugh. God, can we stop, like, not focusing? I think I might like it without the rose. Yeah, I'm not going to put the rose. I'm going to use some of the purple stones that I had left over from the Laughing Lola card making workshop. Um, let's see. Let me get my tweezers. and it doesn't want to come off my tweezers. There we go. What even? Yes. I think I like that. I think we're good to go. I think that's really cute. And it's different colors. It's not necessarily Valentine's colors. Um... Yep, uh, uh, yep, uh, hold on. Did you know it was the thing that they read today? They changed a $5 bill. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so the last thing we have to do now is just get our liquid glass onto this. And I don't know if you know this or not, but you are not supposed to shake liquid glass. You don't shake it because it can make air bubbles in this. Now you don't want to drag across because wherever you make lines or dents, as it dries, you're going to see it. You see my head going in here? <laughs> okay, so we got one done. You know what? I think I'm going to even do the XOXO. I think that's going to look super cute if we do that. We're going to do that as well. And I'll actually make sure the picture I take is well this is dry so that way you can see it because you'll be watching this on on my blog um, oh, this feels so good. what are you doing goofball 
Oh, you're stretching. I know, it does feel nice to stretch, right? Okay, so we've got two hearts. Let's see. Can you see this if I do this? Oh my goodness, who is trying to reach me? No, baby, it's okay. It's Gigi. No, no, no. I'll take care of that. It's just being a little goofball right now. He's playing his Disney Infinity game on his Wii U. We can move the remote when you can look at the console. So he's sitting in my craft room with me. Hey. Mommy's recording, baby. Getting all into it. <laughs> okay, so. This is how we're looking. And you see how it's starting to look glossy? Ooh, I like that. So, that is our card. Let's zoom out here. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have all the measurements up on my blog. Um, like I said, when I post the picture for this, I'll make sure it's when it's nice and dry and you can see just how shiny it looks because it's going to look awesome. Um, so, uh, yeah. Thanks so much. I look forward to... Um, I look forward to you guys checking out my blog and remember to please go online, grab your Cloud9 card kit so you can get this stamp set. Um, the stamp set is awesome. The only way you can get it is in the Cloud9 kit. It will not be in the spring summer catalog. So you got till Ju January 31st to get this card kit. You don't want to miss out on it. Um, also, uh, the stamp of the month is... Um, uh, available. It's uh, Cross Stitch Wishes. I wish I had it right now to show it to you, but I do not have it. I'm waiting for it to come. But um, yeah, it's only $5 with a purchase of $50, so you have to spend $35 to get this, which is the, the Cloud9 kit, and then this Cloud9 kit is $15. So you hit $50 and you can get the stamp of the month for another $5. So for $55, you're getting a ton of stuff. But um, yeah, so thank you uh, so much for watching. Check out my blog, www.craftedandstampin.blogspot.com and go to my online store, www.craftedandstampin.ctmh.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.